Kuzar, everybody, welcome to a very special episode of Camps Today. Oh my god, you've seen the thumbnail, you know what I'm covering, but you don't know everything, so make sure to stick around uh, because there is going to be some fucking awesome information in this video. But before all that, please go ahead, tickle the subscribe button, okay, just tickle it, tickle it, tickle it, tickle it, just tickle it, just, tickle it later. just give it a tickle that you're scratching a cat's belly. Uh, and make sure that you do actually stick around to the end of this video because there's a way that you can get involved with this build to take it from what it is now to something beyond. But allow me to actually introduce the camp. So, hidden deep inside the mire, protecting a man-made lake, and built by a Muppet, stands the only player-made camp that comes close to being an actual Bethesda-placed location. And that is Davy Jones Lighthouse. Now, if you don't know Davy Jones, that's Davy Jones right there, the Muppet who built this thing, and seriously, he is a big Muppet. He's also designed around the Scooby-Doo villain, which is f fucking hilarious, the actual Lighthouse Keeper. But this is Davy Jones Lighthouse, okay? Now, Davy Jones Lighthouse is been in the news before. Um, there have been previous iterations that were covered by DTD Gamer, uh, Lady Dovekin, and Decoy Dungeon, but this one has never been covered by anyone. This one belongs to me. It is a debut that Davy Jones has allowed me to do and has requested that I do on his behalf because there is a goal behind this build. Now, let me give you some information about this camp. This camp took 30 plus hours to build. Okay, not including the previous iterations, um, point one, point two, and point three of his lighthouse, uh, which all went to like finessing his skill at being able to build camps. Not only did it take 30 plus hours to build, but the foundation that this thing sits on uh, was designed in a way that allowed the walls to be almost seamless. A little bit of light does sneak through, um, but the, the, the seams on the lighthouse themselves are perfect, okay? A little bit unperfect because, as you saw, a bit of light sneaks through. But they were designed this way to make it actually look like an in-game location that was placed by Bethesda. Which is the goal behind this camp. So, the goal that we want you guys to be a part of, which you can learn about later on in the video, is to take this camp and get Bethesda to make this the first player-built camp that is endorsed by them and is used as an actual in-game location. We want this to be the first ever player built in-game location okay that's the goal behind this and just so you know the uh lighthouse itself actually has a cousin which is the landview lighthouse now davy's an ex-navy guy uh, and he loves old stuff he builds pirate ships and all that kind of fun stuff he's great um but he built this slightly in competition uh against the landview lighthouse now this stands just the main body of it is eight stories tall okay so just the, the the brick layer on the inside is eight stories tall but if you include the foundation and the roof it is 10 stories tall which makes it half a story shorter than the landview lighthouse okay uh now i was actually with Davy building this lighthouse he built the main body and did a bunch of the decoration and then he asked me to come in and actually work on the interior decoration as well as help design a few aspects of the camp itself. Um, which is great, it was awesome. So Davey's done about 30 plus hours, I've done about 5-6 to six hours on this with him. Uh, and we we wanted it to be as accurate to an actual in-game in location as possible. So it means that there are no, um, no problems sitting down, no problems sleeping, no problems doing anything. Okay, everything is function. Everything that has a function, functions. If you, if you can sit in a chair, you can sit in a chair and there's no like freezing up or locking up or anything like that. It is perfect. Now, the previous iterations of this camp, the light box on top. So this observation balcony right here, plus the lighthouse on uh, the actual light on top was separate from the previous camp. Uh, the, the, the previous part of the camp, the, the actual body of the lighthouse. And the view from up here is fucking outstanding. Come up here and take pictures if you're on PS4, okay? This is on a PS4. Um, if you're on PS4, come on over here, take pictures, okay? It's awesome. And uh, now everything is one solid thing, okay? That's what happens when you build three um, previous iterations of this. But there's Davey right there. And the massive thing that I had an input on was this staircase right here. This staircase, this spiral staircase, is buttery smooth, Okay? Um, I gave Davey the basics and he took it and he ran with it like he was fucking Hussein Ball, okay? He was like, that's a pretty awesome design right there. Mind if I take that and turn it into something buttery smooth? And I was like, yeah, sure. Uh, and he also used a design of mine for the light box itself, which is awesome because you can actually see it from outside. It's a functioning lighthouse. It's great. Um, the, but the, the light box design is something I built in a previous uh, camp, uh, my underground subway camp that I built. Those were the light, the, the light pillars holding up the roof. Um, so, the cool thing about this is that 
it is so perfect. We had a person pop by and actually thought... They knew that it was player built, but they thought originally it was an actual location. They knew it was a player location because they fast traveled. But when they turned up, they were like, man, this is so smooth. It's like actually being at a location. Um, and it is great. Everything functions in it, which is awesome. And jumping off the top of it is a lot of fun. It takes about four or five seconds to get to the bottom. And sadly, you don't make a big splash, but it's a lot of fun jumping off it. Uh, and we want to see how far you can get. But this is where you guys can get involved. Using this hashtag on screen right now, we want you to take a screen grab from this video. Or if you're on Twitter, grab a picture from Twitter, my Twitter or Davies, which will also be at the end of the video. And tweet it at Bethesda, okay? If you're on Reddit, post it, okay? If you're on Snapchat, use it. If you're on Instagram, fl fling it all over the place. But we want to get Bethesda's attention with this, okay? We want to grab everybody's attention in every community of Fallout and get them to retweet and basically just send all this stuff into Bethesda and be like, look, this is so perfect that we want it to be an actual in-game location. We want you to write a certificate which says Davy Jones's lighthouse in the mire is an official Bethesda sponsored location that should be in the game, but sadly had to be built by a player. <laughs> Maybe not that last part, uh, but me and Davy are hoping that you guys can take that hashtag and and run with it. And it, like I said, if you're on Reddit, put it in every Fallout post that you're allowed to do. Do everything, do as much as you can with it. Okay, and hopefully we can reach the goal of making this the first in-game player location that is sponsored by Bethesda. That is the goal, uh, and we really want you to help with that. So, apart from that, ladies and gentlemen, you know the drill, like, share, and subscribe, and until the next time, please help us achieve this goal, and of course, stay awesome.